In the previous one, we learned about random numbers. In this video, we will learn about missing values, how to find and remove missing values as well as any element in a vector. So first, let's create a vector. I will do it using C. In this I will put it in A. Now our vector is ready. So let me first explain what is a missing value. For example, when you are creating a database or you are collecting data from certain people asking for their ages and certain people have not disclosed their ages. So in your data, for certain people whose ages are missing, we call them as missing values. Now how do I represent a missing value in R? The way missing values are represented is using a character called NA. This NA is not a string exactly. If we look for the class of NA, it would come out to be logical. But NA is the general accepted format to represent missing values in R. So how do I insert a missing value now? In A, let me choose a random point. That is, I will take the 10th element and assign NA to that element. Now A's 10th element, that is the final one, is a missing value. For the sake of understanding, let's assume that A is a very big vector and there are multiple missing values and you want to filter out all the missing values from A. How would we do it? There's a way to do it. First, let's understand this function called is.na. Is.na takes a vector as an argument. Let me pass A into is.na and run this. What this gives is for each position of A, it throws out a logical value whether that element within A is missing or not. So only for those elements that contains a missing value, it will throw out as true. So the last element alone here will be true in this case, right? So why this is useful is I can pass is.na inside of A, right? What this will do is it will ask A to throw out only the values that are coming out as true in this vector right so if i run this only the last element that is true is thrown out from this specific command a more useful application of s.na is the negation of it that is if i include an exclamation mark at the beginning of this command all the trues will become false and all the falses will become trues right so only the missing value will be false in this case so guess what will happen if i pass that as the argument within s square brackets it will return all the non missings so this is one fairly commonly used ways to bring out the non missing values from a specific vector now if you find this to be more tedious there's an easier way out that is there's a function called na.omit of a that gives us the same result. It also has few attributes. We don't need these attributes. It's This won't do us any harm. It's, these are just attributes. But the actual value of A is only the first part. Let me explain something about attribute. For any variable in R, in addition to the actual value of the variable, we can store some additional information in that variable object itself. So those additional information is called attributes. And in this case, after running an na.omit, it automatically creates a couple of attributes called na.action and class, right? So let me store na.omit into a new object. I'm storing it in B. In order to get the attributes of any specific object, the function to do that is called attributes of B will give the additional values that is the attributes of B and to get those values, I will do ATTR. The first argument would be B followed by the name of the attribute itself. It throws out 10 in the first place and the attribute of this specific thing is the class. So if I do something like this to get the value of the class attribute, it may not come out. It is null. Why this is happening is because this specific attribute, this class is an attribute of the na.action attribute. I'll explain it. Let me store another object called C. Now C has the value of 10 and C also has this specific attribute called class, right? So to get that, that gets us omit. This is a little bit tricky, but with this understanding, 
you will have a hold of these special features in R. Attributes can be a little bit confusing, so I will do a quick recap of what we just learned. A contains this vector with a missing value in the last element. Then we did na.omit of A and passed it into B. Now B does not have that missing value but has a few attributes attached to it. And we tried to get na.action attribute through ADTR. We pass B as the first argument and the name of the attribute as the second argument. That would get us the actual value of the attribute that is 10. But the class here displayed here is not an attribute of B, but it's an attribute of an attribute of B, right? So if we did the same thing directly here, it would return us a null because it does not exist. What we should have done is we should take the na.action attribute of B, we store it in a vector in another object called c. Now c contains the value 10 along with this attribute called class that contains the value omit. So to get omit from c I will do attr of c and the second argument would be omit. Sorry class and that gives us omit. If you want to create new attributes in B, it is right now it has two attributes inside it. If we want to create a new one, we can do that using ADTR B and the attribute name I want to give is my attribute, assign it. And now B will hold my attribute as well. And to get all the attributes that are contained in B, I will use this command. Attributes of B will throw out all the attributes that are present in it. Now that's about NA. What if I want to find and remove any specific value I want from A? Say I want to find out all the ones in A and want to keep them or remove them. I can use something like this. If I do this check, it returns a true and false whenever the value of that specific element within A is equal to one. Right, And if I pass this as the subsetting argument, that will give me all the ones. And we need to be careful here because NA will appear no matter what because it is neither a true nor a false. So it will definitely appear. If I want to get all the values except one, I can negate the same statement and that gets us all the values except one. Now what if I want to pick multiple values from this specific vector? How I can do that is using a function called percentage in percentage and say I want to find if any element of A is present within this vector that I have specified. I am going to pick all the ones and threes in A. This will give us all the spots where it is either one or three only those spots will be true and this I can pass in A that will give me all the ones and threes. Here the NAs is taken care of it handles NAs better rather than using double equal to sign we can use percentage in percentage more effectively. It's time for a mini challenge. I have my vector A already if you don't have it create it first and from A remove all the even numbers and the missing value. I will pause the video for a few seconds now for you to pause and give it a shot. This may be a little challenging but once you are done, come back and check for the answers. I hope that went well. How I would have done it is like this. From A, I will remove all the missing values. Now B is devoid of any missing values. I will try to get the even numbers now. So. What this gives is the remainders when each element of B is divided by 2. So whenever it is 0, those are my even numbers. So I need to take a negation of this. This contains only the odd numbers and use this as the subset for B. Now these are devoid of any even numbers or missing value. We are making some good progress here. In the next one, we will learn about the which operator using which we can subset any vector based on any condition, in fact multiple conditions.